start. Hello everyone, my name is Jay Joseph Famila. I am working as an assistant professor in BBD, BBC department. Today, my topic, in, the topic is programming with data control in BB 6.0. Here, our software is Visual Basic, which is the event driven programming language and it is a guide interface, that is graphical user interface. And data control is a control used in Visual Basic, which is used to display data in the easiest way. That is, we are going to retrieve the data from the databases. For that, we are going to use some of the database software also. The next, we are going to give the data bound controls. That is, we are going to bound the data from data control to the Visual Basic. Here, some of the standard controls are here, checkbox, combo box, image control, label, text box. These controls are coming in the toolbox of the Visual Basic. And next, some custom controls are here, data list, data combo, data grid, flex grid, rich text box, image combo and MS chart. These we have to choose from components window because these are all custom controls. We have to choose from con co sorry components. For that we have to right click on the toolbox, select components, then you choose the control. The next we are going to see the data control button. Here it has four buttons. The first button is going to view the first row. The second one is going to give the previous row. The third one is used to give the next row. The fourth one is we are going to move to the last row of the record. The next we are going to see some of the data control properties. Here we have connect property, record set type, default type, BOF, EOF, record source and database name. First we are going to connect with connect property. Here it is going to give all the databases. First we are choosing MS Access as our database. The next step we have to give the database name property. For that we are going to choose the path name of our database. That is we can choose from our system also. System is having two types of databases NWIND and Biblio. And we have to give the record source property. Record source means we are going to give the table name of our database. Here the one more uh, control we are giving here is DB grid control which is also a custom control. Here we are going to give the property name as data source property as data1. That is we are going to bind all the data from data1 to DB grid control. Here there is no need of writing the coding. Just we are going to see all the records by using this DB grid control. In case if you are using the text boxes means we have to give the data field control or data field property also. Now see here all the records of the table is displayed here. That is we are selecting the employee table. It is displaying all the records in our table. Next. Here we are going to indicating the last record. You press the last key. It is going to give the last record of your table. It is indicated by the arrow mark symbol. Next sir. If you are pressing the third or fourth button, sorry, second or third button, it is going to move the records to the previous one and the next one. Okay. Next, these are all the methods in data control. Move first record, move first, move last, move previous, move next, find first, find last, find previous and find next. These methods are going to be used in our programs. We can write the source code by using this program. Next we are going to see one program which is used to operate all the methods. The first step is we are going to write the program in our command button. It is a event procedure. We are going to give the move first, move first method for moving to the first record. In the second button we are moving to the last record. In the third button we are going to move to the previous record. When going move, moving to the previous record, we have to check the beginning of the file. So we are using the property named as BOF property to check whether we are in the beginning of the file. If it is beginning of the file means it is going to display it as a first record. The next one, in the fourth command button, we are using the move next, pro, move next method. When we are moving to the next text, we have to check whether we are in the end of the record. 
so that we are using the property named as AOF that is end of the file when we are moving to the last record and in the found load property we are giving the database name that is the path name of our database and we are going to give the record set properties that is our table name here EMP is our table name and we are giving the path name as open database next it is another one program in this program we are going to delete the records in our table here we are using one more property add new property when you are using add new property data one dot record set dot add new means you are going to add new records into your table add new property is used to add a new record inside your table in case you go you go for updation you are already having a lot of records you are going to do some modifications means we can use the update property data one dot record set dot update property the third one if you want to delete a record you you are going to check whether you are going to delete the record by using the message control the msg box is the method which is used to give the message box it is going to confirm you whether you are going to delete the record if you give yes means it is going to delete the record by using the property data one dot record set dot delete and you get the message as records deleted otherwise you will get the record you will get the message records not deleted by using this data control we are co connecting our visual basic with the ms access and we are doing lot of programming and we are so showing all the records in our visual basic form thank you